Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use the basic AGV template, which is brand new in Flexum 2021 update one. If you open up a new model and you go over here to the process flow and then add an object process flow area, you can see we actually have four new AGV templates that have been added in this version, in addition to our original, uh, more advanced template. Um, so we'll just click basic AGV, which uh, creates and opens up the template. And the other thing this actually created is uh, a global list in the toolbox, which is just used by the template to create work. And this is the most basic implementation that we have as far as this pre-built logic is concerned. And today I want to show you how to hook this in and use this in a very basic uh, looping model. So first thing we have to actually create the AGV system. So we'll head over, click here on your 3D view to bring up the object library. And then if you head down, go to under the AGV section, click straight path and we'll just click to create these straight paths, uh, just to create the four walls of our loop, the four edges. And I just click once and then click again to create that, then right click to end. Uh, you'll see I, I've created these in a, in a clockwise pattern. All the arrows here are going clockwise. Uh, and then the second thing we have to do is close this loop. So I'll click the join paths object and if I just click, it's, it's easiest to get here in the arrow. It, you'll know that you're on the right area because it's high, highlighted in yellow. And you'll click from one to the other in order here to just close this loop. Excellent. So now you can see we have a closed AGV loop. All of the arrows are going in a clockwise motion, which is the direction that our AGV is going to be traveling in. And then we also need an AGV, of course. So that's up in the task executors area of your library. Just click task executor. The default shape here is an AGV. So we're good to go as far as that's concerned. The last thing that we'll need to do is actually set up the model itself that's going to be providing the items that the AGV will transport from one part of the loop to the other. So to do that, we'll head over to our fixed resources. We'll get a source, which generates items. We'll get a queue. And finally, we'll get a sync so those items can leave our little system here. And you'll want to connect those using standard A connections in Flexim. Connect from the source to the queue, and then hold A and click from the queue to the sync to make those A connections. So our, our system is, is almost ready. We just need to add a few, a few extra things just to make this work. Um, w the one thing is we need to add control points to um, our AGV loop. And what control points do is allow um, that, well, it allows the logic to actually happen in these templates, but it, it also provides a way for the AGV to know, um, you know, at what points it should be looking for work, at what points it should be picking up or dropping off. And so in order to connect this up, we'll just use another simple A connection from our queue over here to this control point. And you can see there's a blue line denoting that that's been connected. And then we'll do the same from the north control point over here to the sink. And we also need our AGV to be part of this loop. And so we'll use, an, again, an A connection from the AGV to this south control point. That is a traveler AGV. And you'll see that that has a red connection to denote that. And then one final thing, in order to actually make uh, the, the AGV loop properly, in order to look for work and find its next work point, you'll actually want to connect these control points as well. Um, in a, you, you can have many different control points along this loop and you would link them up like that. In this case, we just have two. We're going to go as basic as possible. And so I'm going to connect the south to the north, call that a next work point. And then I'm going to actually connect the north to the south as well. And that closes this clockwise loop that we have. You can see these arrows. Um, if you can see these, these red arrows here showing that um, the south is both connected to the north, north connected to the south, and now we have a closed loop where this AGV can continually look for work um, and complete its work once it has a task assigned. Two final things in order to hook this up. First, uh, we actually need to know that these items are, are going to, where they're going to go from, from the queue. They can't just sit there. And so uh, in Flexim, we, we use transport. That's just a checkbox here. When you click your queue, if you go here to the right in your properties, you'll see use transport in the output area. I'll click that. 
And then we'll select from those options, use list, push item, push to item list, no task sequence. And from here, by default, we only have one list. It's the one I told you about when we created the basic AGV template. Um, that was automatically created for us. This AGV work list will manage um, our work for the AGV. So we'll just use that default. You can, if you have more lists in your model, you'll obviously want to choose AGV work. And there you go. And then finally, the only way this AGV is actually going to use this logic is if it's connected up to this process flow. And there's a really simple way to do that. We just have to attach it. Over here in the right hand side, you'll see attached objects. I'm going to use our sampler here, click that eyedropper and click our AGV task executor one. And there we go. At this point, if I click reset and run, you'll see this AGV begin to loop around our system. It's just kind of looking for work, waiting for the first box to come out. I'm going to step to create, have a box come to the queue. Here we go. So we have one, as soon as it hits that control point, it's going to pick up that box. It's going to transport it where it needs to go, the sink. And then it'll continue to loop until it finds work. And you can see our process flow here. I'll, I'll make this a little bit bigger. You can see our, our process flow is um, managing all of this behind the scenes. Um, it's actually doing the work partitioning mechanism automatically. This is just pre-built logic as part of this template. And uh, if, if you uh, enjoyed this template, if you like building this one, I really encourage you to check out um, the rest of the templates. Uh, they're actually designed to add a little bit of functionality and go up a little more in complexity for each template up to the advanced template, um, depending on your needs and so you can become a little more familiar with how AGVs work in Flexum. Thanks, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, be sure to check out Flexum 2021 Update 1.